Let's go over a few of the miscellaneous operations or features. Gift certificates. If you want to actually distribute a gift certificate, we're going to go to the home screen, press gift certificate, access the system, and you see here we're going to swipe the card. You can use an account number if you'd like, have an expiration or issued to, but for this exercise we're not going to do that. So let's go ahead and swipe the card. Now, all of these encoded numbers do need to be unique forever. So when you order your cards, make sure you have a starting point and keep, I would probably keep a spreadsheet about what you've purchased and actually maintain those records because they need to be individual. So if you go to try and, and swipe this card and it's not individual, it actually will not complete. So let's put the total amount on here, $10. We're not going to put any dif discounts on here for this portion. Now this payment information, this right here is actually giving an explanation for the purchase person who's purchasing the card for the benefit of another person or themselves that this is the type of payment that they're actually going to use. So let's say they pay by credit card and the amount that, that we're actually going to receive is the $10 because we're not going to charge tax on this end, we'll charge tax, tax on the other. And one of the things I like to point out is you can go ahead and add that, add another card, or you can actually recharge this card with that specific amount, which is great. So it can be a reoccurring thing. It can be almost like a house account or a preloaded card that, that your customers can use. So let's go ahead and finish this. Change do none. Now, you're going to see the receipt. You can give this to the customer and they can actually maintain this receipt for themselves. And the other thing that's great is um, you can use their phone number and things like that to populate other things and actually track this information as well. So let's actually redeem this gift card. Let's redeem a little bit of it. So let's ring in an order. And we'll just do something real quick. A grilled cheese sandwich. Let's go ahead and settle. And let's actually pay with a gift certificate. We're going to pay. Search yes for an MSR card or no by gift card account number. And that's what I was talking about, account number, phone number on the card, okay? So we're going to say yes. We'll swipe the card. You see that it's there? Now, there's going to be two receipts that are going to print. The first receipt is going to have a balance that remains on the card, okay? And another thing I'd like to show you is how to actually check that, okay? You're going to take the card, swipe it in the MSR, and immediately this is going to populate. $6.83 is what's left on the card. Now let's look at how to maintain the records of what gift cards and, and amounts are outstanding. We're going to go to reports, and it has its own place, gift certificate list. And you can see here that this is the only one that's actually outstanding, and we could have issued to and presented by as well. You can keep an existing spreadsheet of that. Now the other thing I'd like for you to see is that there is a second place here for gift certificate redemption tracking. So you can also see when this gift card was redeemed and you know, how much is left on the card, et cetera, and what was actually purchased and, and excuse me, the amount that was actually used. So you see, the gift cards, this system actually has a pretty great tracking feature for it.